tonight on Old Spirits. Pip and Tina take Phil and T to the Antietam battlefield, the site of the bloodiest battle on United States soil. This investigation marks OSI's first visit to the historic location, and from what they experience, not their last. Are there any soldiers here that died in the battle? Sharpsburg, Maryland, located in Washington County, is where you find the Antietam Battlefield. Named after the creek that runs alongside it, this particular location would be remembered as one of the longest, fiercest battles of the American Civil War, taking place on September 17, 1862. The Battle of Antietam began at dawn when Union Major General Joseph Hooker orders the artillery bombardment of the Miller Cornfield where Confederates under Major General Thomas J. Stonewall Jackson were positioned. Jackson would reinforce his troops hours later and push Union troops back, but Union Major General Joseph K. Mansfield forces would regain some of the ground lost. At this time, Union Major General William H. French pushed forward to support Major General John Sedgwick, accidentally stumbling into Confederate Major General D. H. Hill's troops posted in the sunken road. The battle continued here for four hours before Union troops finally won. Union Major General Ambrose E. Burnside's Ninth Corps reached Antietam Creek at midday, but found themselves pinned down by 500 Georgia sharpshooters. Around 1 p.m., Union forces finally crossed Burnside's bridge, took the heights, and after reforming their lines, advanced to drive Confederates back towards Sharpsburg. This push came to a halt upon the arrival of Major General A.P. Hill's division from Harper's Ferry. Union forces were pushed back to the heights near the bridge. By evening, the Union held three sides of Antietam, waiting until the following day to resume fighting. During the night, General Lee ordered his troops back across the Potomac River, leaving the battle and the town. With the scale of Union and Confederate forces dead, wounded, and missing, reaching to over 43,000 in Gettysburg after three days of combat, and nearly 26,000 in Manassas after a combined four days, Antietam stands as the bloodiest day in United States history with 22,717 dead, wounded, or missing in a single day. A statistic you are not only reminded of, but you truly feel when walking this battlefield. back everybody to our next investigation you know that we are fans of the battlefield here at old spirits and with this investigation we are excited to bring you the battlefield of antietam now we have to give credit where credit is due this was not our idea this was all done by the ladies. Now, I don't remember exactly, Phil, when this happened, but they went, went off and they did their own adventure. They went off and had their own adventure. They, they went they went and did the their own of, thing. In the cold of February. And they, yeah, and they came back with some really compelling stuff. And right after we were done filming Couples Weekend, the yeah. very first one. Very first. That was when we went to Antietam, all four of us. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I mean, what we saw that they brought back, which, mm -hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong. We'll see some of that in this in this episode. Oh yeah, yeah. You're gonna see some of that. This yeah. <laughs> we were back out to Antietam. What within a couple weeks? Within a couple weeks. Yeah, yeah. Without saying anything at all. And yes, I will just come out and say it. I'm not a big fan of the outdoor investigations, but in this case, I made an exception and said, okay, let's do this thing. So, are we ready to take a look at what uh, we found? First what the ladies found, then what we found when we got to Antietam. Well, I think before we do that, T, Thank why you. don't we remind our viewers <laughs> to like, subscribe, and enable notifications so you know when content's gonna drop. And, and we are happy to announce that we have recently opened our membership section of our YouTube channel 
where you can get all kinds of exclusive content. I almost feel choked up, everybody, because that's usually my jam, and I completely blanked in that moment. I was so excited to get to the evidence, but you're absolutely right. Because yeah. teamwork makes the dream work, baby. Oh, I wish I hadn't said that. Uh, and on, on that note, <laughs> edit. Yeah, and edit. now to the investigation. <laughs> All these and other questions. If you're gonna keep doing that, I'm just gonna turn you off. Okay, all right. What, 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 what? So that's off. Yeah. Have you ever had anybody in this church with this with these amount of flashing lights? Okay, so now at least it's going blue. So this device in front of us. Don't. Don't. You don't want to use this device? Would you like to tell us your name? Green. You would like to tell us your name. Okay. Well. I am going to push this record button here. You are doing something very strange. Okay, I am now recording. So if you could just leave those lights be for a little bit. Let me show you how they work. interfering with it in that direction, is there? Marilyn. Marilyn? No. Where is the sensors pointed? Okay. So I am Philippa and this is my friend Tina. And we've come to learn about this place. This building kind of called to us. We've come to learn what we can about what happened here. If you would like to talk to us. Oh, the green light is not going off. Shall I recalibrate that again? Do you remember? Shuttle. Do you remember? Shuttle. Do you remember? Shuttle. Shuttle. I imagine after the battle, there were a lot of people to bury. Let me show you how this device works here if you can't quite manage. I don't know. This, the, one side is red, no. Hold on, let me see if I can. So that's green. That's for yes, right? And then that's for no. 
So when we ask you a question, you could touch the, this side for green and let us know that the answer is yes. Or the other side is no. Or you can touch the silver stick. Oh, the silver stick. We love our silver stick. Mm. You just talk to us. Are there any soldiers here that died in the battle? No. Maybe they're not allowed in the church. Is there a member of a farming family here? Somebody that worked this land before the battle? Is there something older that's here? There are people talking off in the distance, just in case. No. What do you think about General Lee? Was he a good man? Did you hear that? Yeah, what was that? I don't know. Did you just say something? People are Yeah, yeah. Are they coming in here? So that it's all recording outside. Just, just imagine if it was full tourist season. <laughs> they look like they're having a good time. Does it bother you when people come here and have a good time? Considering how much pain was in this place? Okay. Agree. Agree. Yes. So you don't mind. You don't mind that people come here and have a good time. So I was like, it, to me, I was going to say yes. <laughs> you do mind. Oh my goodness. Maybe we'll get clarification. Yes, clarification on that. Goes away. Maybe. Make it like great yes. for it annoys you. Yes. Or upsets you. Read for it's okay. I don't mind. Yeah, I heard something like a, ch some, something. We'll have to check that. <laughs> this is an amazing church. It is a beautiful place. Did you enjoy worshiping here? <laughs> yeah, he hasn't said anything. No, I don't think it annoys them. We would love to know your name. If your name is Marilyn, feel free to light up this, this uh, device green or give us a yes. Use any of the words that you can find on this box I'm holding in my hand. Do people come here often looking for you? Did the battle scare you? Mm -hmm. 
No, if you don't want to talk, that's okay. We'll, we'll move on. But this is certainly a very quiet place. If you'd like us to leave, then you can light this up green and we will leave. Definite weight to the silence in here. Well, we're going to move on and walk down closer to the worst of the fight, where the worst of the fighting was. I hope that's okay. We just really want to find out about what happened here the stories of the people that lived here and died here. All right, shall we? You can sit while I get around and stuff. Okay. We'll just sit here for a second. Is there anything else you want to see? Hmm. Since, since I'm always asking, is there anyone here from the Army of the Potomac defending Washington, D.C.? If not, we're going to keep looking. We're going to go down to another part of the... Nobody. Okay, there's nobody here from... That's fine. This is probably the space of people who worshipped in this church rather than the soldiers. So, thank you for that. I'm going to take this device away now. But I'm going to leave my ghost tube running and this recording. So if you want to say anything else, feel free. Yeah. <laughs> 
At this time, activity slowed down in the church, only two EMF hits occurring in this time span. However, on reviewing the video, temperature continues to drop. Do you think this is something paranormal or merely meteorological? Let us know in the comments below. Oh, 
Yeah, did you bring your cops to stand? I think I did. Your what now? She got a collapsible stand so that she could prop different things on it. Ooh, like the K2 here. Yeah. <coughs> Also, knocking this right here. Yes. Yeah, we use that one. Is that can be sounds? I don't think that can be used in that kit. No, I'm standing right next to the idea. Here's the stand. It's, it's not, it's not, it's not. Found it. The stand is always at the bottom. <laughs> See, I originally bought one of these for this very purpose, but then mine wasn't collapsible like Pips. Well, I thought about it. It's, well, it's also adjustable. So if you're doing a ghost tube, you need to get the base shot. I'm going out to see if we can find a cemetery. Okay, gotcha. We're just going to wander around the back. Let's know what you find. It shouldn't matter if it's on its, it's side. Really coming towards you, so you're So here's about a six degree, according to this, according to my melody, there's a six degree difference between the A and here. Interesting. This is probably usually, 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 what? So it's probably temperature, right? Yeah. <laughs> usually there's a, there's a privacy. Privacy? Yeah, we have more privacy now. It's just the two of us and whoever's here. Yes. <coughs> Unless you're looking for more privacy than that. Unless we're likely to be a which is not our intention. What well, we can do is we can uh, just sit here in silence and just want to hold peace. It's a church after all. I was going to say that's a really good point. Might as well go to church. So uh, we'll just, we'll just uh, enjoy the silence. Similar feeling, but it's one of the characteristics of 
clear. Yeah, 55.6 degrees on Eddie, 50.5 on Mel. And this place is, EMF wise, this place is flat. Yeah, flat, yeah. We've got seven minutes. Before, before we leave though, could, could I ask one more thing? Would you mind getting close to any of these devices here? You've been making them beep on and off. I just want to see if you can do it again. If I'm asking too much, I can always leave. You don't have to worry about it. I feel like I just heard a voice behind me. Really? Yeah. I don't know what it said. It's gradually getting colder in here. My hands are frozen. Yeah, no. All right, I'll just we'll, we'll, we'll pack this up. So when I said it was an outdoor investigation, I forgot to mention, yeah, there's a church in there, but that really wasn't indoors because we had that cross breeze and there was still a lot of, lot of outside noise coming right. in. And it's a 200 year old building. Which means it's well, crap on acoustics. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it's not. Right. And yeah. That being yeah, said, that. <laughs> that being said, the EV, now what would you call the noise that, that the ladies captured on uh, goes to because, yeah, I thought it was an EVP, but I was not paying attention when we heard Tina say, I don't know, just out of the blue. Yeah, that was wild. Yeah. That was really wild. Yeah. And I'm glad she picked up on that. Just based on how she reacted in that moment mm -hmm. as if she was answering Pip, who was not speaking. Right. I'm going to have to go out on a limb and say that was probably a disembodied voice. So, on a whole, the Antietam Church, obviously it saw a lot of action a lot of being action. where it was, but what was your 
take away from that entire experience inside the church? You could feel the energy of the action that that building saw, just mm -hmm. being in the middle of what was the bloodiest battle on U.S. soil. But some 4,000 men dead in 24 hours, and then a total of 22,000, I believe, killed, missing, or wounded. And the That's a lot of trauma in a very short span of time. And the thing that I think that should should be mentioned is that not all battlefields are created equal. I mean, when you go to something like Gettysburg, then you go to someplace like Antietam, and then you go to someplace like Manassas. They they all have trauma, but it's very different, and it's 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 very there's a different concentration of it. And okay, I, yeah. I, I've been all, I've been really curious about whether or not there are battlefields that they all have a different vibe about it and I've always wondered why because as we learned from Fallout, yeah, war, war never, never changes. changes. Uh, but when when you go to these battlefields, each of them have their own signature energy, trauma, whatever you want to call it. And I'm, 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 I'm really curious about that, about why Manassas is so dramatically different from Antietam, which is really dramatic in its own way compared to Gettysburg, you know what I mean? So, I, mm -hmm. I get what you mean. I think part of that has to do with that concentration of energy and what exactly the conflict was. While there is a different character to each of these battlefields that we've been to, I really feel that the, that sort of this baseline energy, and this baseline hum of a battlefield seems, at least to me, pretty consistent. So, so this first part has just been the church that is on the battlefield. We still have a bit more to go because we then venture into the forest that's surrounding said battlefield and then we head into what was called the Bloody Lane. Yeah. And the Bloody Lane, the ladies again had their own experience in the Bloody Lane and did. we're uh, hopefully gonna be showing part of that off. Mm -hmm. But when we go into the Bloody Lane and when we go into uh, the surrounding forest, we also pick up on a few things there as well. That's all coming next week, uh, but we'd love to hear what you think about what we found from just the Church of Antietam. So by all means, go on ahead and leave us a comment. And while you're there, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and enable those notifications for whenever we put up new content. Remember, all those interactions, likes, subs, attending our premieres, attending our live streams, and even our brand new memberships to the channel all those things help out old spirits in ways you cannot imagine. But thank you very much for joining us for this part of our Antietam investigation. From all of us here at Old Spirits, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you in the field.